before we start this coffee and tools episode, we gotta show you this chair. Got it for free at a yard sale, and the wife has been working on it for weeks, uh, doing the upholstery and recovering, new, you know, fixing the springs, everything in this guy. And I just think, I thought it was a pretty cool project, but uh, I think she said something about that she would never, never do it again. It's really an antique. This is a spring loaded up here to help balance the back of the chair. There's also springs down here that, that create the uh, rocking sensation. Uh, there's an adjustment knob, so you can adjust where you want the height of your uh, armrests. And the upholstery, of course, like I said, was done by her. And I think she did a terrific job, although she said she would never do it again, which I understand. And now, let's get to the show, Coffee and Tools. All right. Wow. If you, uh, welcome to Coffee and Tools. If you ask me about the rusted uh, little car, I think it was about a 32 Ford, but I'm really, I'm not sure. If anybody has some comments about what that car was, let me know. We found it in an old garage. I think it was for sale, but it looked like it needed a little bit of paint and <coughs> some work. <laughs> Contest, giveaway, yes. Uh, we need to get this over with, so I've got all the entries printed up and ready to go. And I guess we're gonna start with uh, just fire this stuff out, right? Because we're just giving this stuff away. So this was the Verizon hotspot and the winner, okay, <laughs> was almost no entries for this thing. So, uh, looks like uh, Mr. Jennings in Hilton Head, South Carolina, congratulations. Uh, this will be going out to you later today. And of course, priority post. We like priority post. The uh, next item was the uh, a Sprint 800, or 8,000, 8, excuse me, Sprint 8,000. And that was, let's see, that, ah, here we go. Doug, Doug McDonald, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, Sprint. This baby's yours. That's going priority post today, so congrats to Doug out there in the, where the, what was it, 120 degrees over there today? And the next one, Pix, Pixlot, Pixlink. Uh, found the instructions for this thing too, by the way. I'm not even, it's an extender, but it's uh, it's kind of a cool little item and it has a Cat5 underneath there. So that was Bob in, the, we'll just say good old Bob in Knoxville, Tennessee. I think everybody in Tennessee, his name is Bob. I don't know, that's like the third Bob or something, whatever. Anyways, congratulations, Bob. That's going, that's going out to you. Last one, the AT&T. Uh, this one's kind of interesting. I picked the first person that wrote in and thought we'll go with that. And the very first one that came in was uh, Mr. Diddy, but his address was wrong. We had to do a correction on it and I really, I'm not sure about that. I'm sure it was just a typo error. Uh, he had it going to the state of Maine. Apparently he's in either Mississippi or, or he's in Mississippi. So Bill, at uh, Mississippi, Mr. Diddy, this baby is yours. That's going out today. And again, uh, we won't, we might be able to get it in that box if we crush it. <laughs> we'll get this up to you today. Uh, other prizes coming up are really cool. So all that's getting shipped out today. Got some really cool stuff coming up. Uh, anybody into drones, you know? Oh yeah. I'm giving this away, it's a Mr. Lego man on top, so you can put Lego on top of this thing, drone and uh, you know fly it around the house or whatever. That's the problem. Uh, I've been grounded. Uh, I flew this in the house and after a couple of accidents of running into things in the house, I was told I'm no longer allowed to fly. It's a no-fly zone in the house, so may as well just give it away, right? It's Originally it was about $100 or something, and it's a little mini drone that supposedly you can fly it with an iPhone, just download the app and you can buzz around in this thing. And if I can find the name for the app even I'll give it to you, but uh, <clears throat> I'll include it with the package whenever we do a drawing for this one. Also got some uh, camera equipment, you know, stuff, you know, Panasonic, you know, brand new stuff that's still in the box and a lot of other crazy stuff coming up. Wanted to uh, talk a little bit about what's happening this week too with Coffee and Tools. We're starting another channel, but the other channel is totally not based on 
coffee and tools, of course, but it's something that has been an interest to me for a very long time and for a lot of good reasons. Uh, I had an experience back in 1981, which I'll get into maybe the next episode, and that left me looking at UFOs and really digging into the research, the reports, and then sitting down saying, well, how does this break down? What does this really mean? Or what can we pull uh, from information from what little information we have from the sightings? Uh, sometimes poor photography, sometimes there is no photography, there's no evidence, you know, that sort of thing. But that's uh, coming up, and the name of that channel will be called uh, UFO Tech, because it'll be the technical look into UFOs, and I think it's going to be quite a little adventure going down the road. But meantime, here at Coffee and Tools, we've got uh, 3D projects, I've got wood projects, got all kinds of stuff going on. And I uh, also wanted to show you, I did an invention a, f uh, a few weeks ago, and I've been testing it, and I'm pretty happy with it. But like everything 3D, when you build a prototype, sometimes something works right, and sometimes something is like, okay, this is why we have to go back to the 3D printer, make it again, and see what went wrong. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much for always tuning into Coffee and Tools. And like I said, we've got lots more giveaway stuff coming up. So keep an eye on us. We're giving away stuff probably every week, you know. Adios, guys.